We have to support each other. We have to support the call out of racism whenever and wherever it is. At the same time, we believe that calling for these changes will end up benefiting, in fact, not just Chinese, not just Black Canadians, but all of us, all Canadians. Advocacy groups nationwide are echoing calls for real action against systemic racism in Canada. The nation has been gripped by protests against police violence in the aftermath of the death of George Floyd in the United States. And community activists say those protesters are asking for a change that would benefit all Canadians. I don't know what it's like to be afraid to allow your children to go out the door if you're a black uh, mother or father. I don't know what it's like for a parent to instruct their black teenage son to say, here's how you have to behave um, if you are stopped by police so that they don't uh, get harmed in some way. These are things that I don't understand. But the thing is, all of these different communities understand um, racism because we've all experienced it. Canadians have become increasingly aware of the potentially deadly outcomes when police interact with Canadians of color. That came to a head this past weekend when thousands across Canada rallied against police violence. Protesters say they don't want small changes, they need a major change to the system. Systemic change would benefit all of us. It is urgent, right? Anti-Asian racism in, in COVID-19 calls for urgent actions. Anti-Black um, racism, particularly due to police actions, call for urgent actions. And all these calls for urgent actions would only lead to better system for us all. Protests to date have been marked by the wide diversity among protesters and calls to end racism against Indigenous people as well as calls to end anti-Black racism. More protests are planned for later this week. Under the skin, if you cut us, we will bleed and you won't be able to tell whether that blood comes from a white person, a Black person, um, you know, an Asian person, uh, brown, Black, whatever. We are all the same. And uh, we have to try and remember we are all part of the same human family. We are one, regardless of our skin, our blood, our race, whatever. While leaders of all of Canada's major federal parties have agreed on the presence of racism in Canada and the need to tackle it, there's been little action so far. The Prime Minister emphasizing that systemic racism does exist in Canada, but offering little in the way of concrete ideas or reflections on his role as the head of that system. In Ottawa, Shao Li Lee, City News.